Hey, how's it going, guys? It's me, David, here just for another shave uh, video. Um, please forgive me. I'm a little sick. Nose is a little stuffy. Not even the whole nose. Just actually my right nostril is stuffy. So if I sound a little congested, a little funny voice, you know why. Um, today's going to be a real cool shave. Um, just again, ahead of time, just thank everybody for anybody that's been sending me stuff. I've got a lot of samples. My boy Magnus over in Sweden actually just sent me... Uh, some samples of some real high-end stuff that I actually have not tried as of yet. So really excited to try that stuff and um, He also sent me some like Swedish candy chocolate these odd ass candies one that's salty licorice type stuff, which was weird, but good and Also some snus snus. I think that's how you say snus something like that. You know Magnus if you're watching go ahead and correct me snus I think so which actually dared me to shave with snus in my mouth, which is kind of like a chewing tobacco without the chewing part. So I'm going to research how to actually use nuts and use it during a shave. Hopefully I can keep it in there the whole shave. We'll see. But that's not what that sh this shave is about. Today's about uh, one of my good friends. Um, he's a buddy from the forum. He's good people. Um, he's right here in Southern California. He's from um, a city maybe about 30 minutes away from me. His name is Justin Park. And he's going to be opening today. Well, by the time you see it. This video will be today. Today, his new website is launching ShaveRevolution.com. Um, he's going to be... He gave me a little sneak peek of his website. And um, I'll tell you, he is assembling an all-star cast of artisans to be on that website. Including a bunch of exclusive scents just to his own website. So, the first one that, that he actually sent me that I could use is going to be... Propaganda. Now this is a soap made for him, uh, for him, specifically for his Shave Revolution brand. See? Like the power, you know? Um, by Dr. John's uh, Shaving Soap Company. It's called, again, it's Propaganda. And this one's gonna, this one is a mix of vanilla, sandalwood, Egyptian musk, and to, at the end is Mandarin uh, orange. I'll tell you. My left nostril, which is the only one that I can smell of right now, is loving this soap. So, I look forward to this soap. And if this is just the first of the signature scents for ShaveRevolution.com, I can't wait to smell the other ones. I think he has Douglas working on some stuff. I know he has, uh, aside from signature scents, he's going to carry a bunch of artisans. I've got to see some of his stuff, and I'm telling you, ShaveRevolution.com. That's going to be a site that you guys are going to want to check out um, because Justin is really doing his due diligence and getting some of the best artisans out there. Um, from Ginger's Garden to Fine Accoutrements, Douglas Mike and, um, and Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, um, Dr. John. Great stuff. So it's going to be one of, another one of those great artisan one-stop shops. So I look forward to what Justin has um, in store because uh, he's told me that um, he is slowly but surely going to continue to grow his selection and um, he's a smart dude so I have no reason to expect that he won't be successful and you know with the support of the community um, you know we never have too much shaving stuff so I'm sure plenty of us are going to be buying stuff so today I'm going to be using propaganda I'm going to be using so Commander Integrity I'm typically not a bomb guy but he sent me this to try out because I did tell him I've never tried Soap Commander bombs I know everybody says they're great, and I'm just, I'm more of a splash dude, but hey, why not? And it's an unscented one, which I actually like, because that means that I could pair it with some uh, aftershave splash for an actual fragrance that I actually want to keep on, so that's cool. And then I'm going to use it with Club Man Pinard, because it is a kind of sweet scent, and I just don't have much to pair with sweet scents. But since it has that musk and, la and vanilla, I think it'll go nicely with this. So, using the Razor Rock Stuff Slant today, as usual, I got the Nathan Clark Custom. Uh, soaking so I'm gonna go ahead and load up it's really really soft soap they told me that um or uh, Justin told me forgive me I'm getting a little sick that he informed me that the essential oils act a little funny with this soap so it's a little soft but he said it lathers up great and with Dr. John's I've tried already a couple of their soaps I have no reason to believe that they would release a sub part product and just in himself so let's check it out hmm. 
Got that chunk of uh, soap there. Yeah, definitely gonna need more water. I'm telling you, my left nostril is loving this soap. It smells real nice. I'm a fan of citrusy scents. And everybody knows I'm a fan of sandalwood. So, this is definitely a good marriage of the two. You could kind of get the, the calming notes of the sandalwood and musk. And you hit that nice um, citrusy note from the mandarin. Real, real nice. Real nice. Even though I was feeling sick, I was debating not shaving today. But if you guys were paying attention on the Facebook groups and even on Instagram, um, all the shirts are printed for So Sharp Limited. And tomorrow, we're actually going to be doing our very first photo shoot. Not, not no supermodel uh, photo shoot, but you know, I, I want to have as many as my family. My close friends from down here involved in the pro in the project. So we're gonna do a photo shoot for pictures for the website. Just have something just this website my that my buddy that's working on is just gonna be an incredible site. So I really, really look forward to it. You guys are gonna have an opportunity to kind of see everybody that had a hand in getting the in the, the product launched. The support staff, because you know all the families gonna help ship out orders and all that stuff. So it's just really looking forward to it. Not gonna be no American Outfitters, Abercrombie and Fitch. So I'm back. Um, camera fell. This time it's actually from the sticky part. I'm actually kind of surprised because that's the part I haven't had issues with. So I guess we'll see how it goes right now. I have that one issue now. Let's see if it doesn't start snowballing. You always have issues with your sticky part. That's weird. This is my first video from this vantage point. So I keep checking it to see how it's looking. You know, so let me know what you guys think. I'm actually going to even be using a editing software. Um, I'm using the free trial version, so you'll probably see a watermark in one of these two corners. I wanted to see the quality, how it uploads and all that stuff before I actually buy it. Um, I like all the features of this editing software, but... You. I'll lie in bed with you. Okay, thank you. Oh, sorry, talking to Adrian. Yeah. He doesn't want to go to sleep, so I said that if he didn't go to sleep, I was going to go to bed with him. That's weird. He's a little too old for that. That's why. I figured you'd go to sleep then. Yeah, there you go. Huh? No, I was saying, though, I like the features of the editing software. Yeah. Um, yeah. You shut up. But, um, Jesus Christ, dude. I told my wife that I could edit some stuff now, and now she's just totally running amok in the background. Like, she totally lost her mind. Um, but yeah, I'm going to upload this video, see how I like the final outcome of, the, of it. And go from there. If, if I like how the editing comes out, because I had tried some other editing software before. And when you uploaded the video... 
the quality of the video just totally just deteriorated. It went from my camera on the phone is HD and it ended up being like 220p or some nonsense like that. So this one Keenmaster is more expensive in general. Obviously it's a subscription so every month I have to pay or pay for the whole year. But again I really like the the options it had, the tools really easy. So we'll see. Again, I'm not going to edit out nothing crazy, just when I have mishaps like the camera falling. Third and final pass. Again, using the DE today so the videos go by faster. Hmm, I think this may be my favorite citrusy scent. Really good. Hmm. BBS. I expect nothing less. Okay, so I've been talking to a couple guards actually this past week or so. And they're a little frustrated at the fact that they're not getting BBS. Uh, shaves particularly on the neck um, depending on the way your hair grows you may not be able to get BBS on your neck and who cares you know what's the point of having BBS is what's the main, the big benefit from it? we want to shave every day anyways so I settled for DFS down fine shave with a straight razor, the reason why I can't get BBS on my neck, my goatee gets in the way, and I have to shave this way in order to get it. With a DE, I could do it because it's a smaller head. With the straight razors, it's just too long. I can't do it. But again, when you're looking at it, you can't tell there's any hair. When I, when I stroke this way, this way, or this way, I feel nothing. It's just when I do this, I could feel hair in that area. You know, that's just nitpicking. Who cares? You know, so I just have people try to just accept the fact that you didn't get it. And the reason why I, I just accept the fact that is because it's just so much fun. Damn. Okay, so this old Commander Bomb does really go a long way. I thought I didn't put enough, and it turns out I put too much. I'm actually going to have to dab some of this off. Cause, But what's nice about this integrity, it has menthol. And we all know how I feel about menthol. So that's great. So even though it's unscented, I'm feeling that cooling sensation. And I'm going to add a little club mask. So I'm going to get that burn. Yeah, that's a great pairing. Um, 
And even though I put too much of the bomb, it soaked in pretty well. I just had to dab a little bit um, on the cheeks. I did put a lot. Um, hey, great shave. Hey, again, guys, uh, SoulSharpLimited.com. It's in the works already. If you go onto the site right now, you'll see kind of a countdown timer. Um, tomorrow, photo shoot. Pictures are going to be up of all the products. Um, you're going to get to see a lot of my family, a lot of the people that are involved in launching the line. So I'm really excited about that. Um, shirts are going to go on sale the 27th of February. The 22nd of February is when the website will go live. Also, visit my boy uh, uh, Justin's uh, page, ShaveRevolution.com. Um, he's going to have a lot of nice pickings, especially from artisans. You know the artisan movement is real big here. So if you want artisan products, definitely a good spot to go. Hey, have a good one, guys. Thank you for joining me. Take care.